I'm driving, but my, my head's just kind of going everywhere. So I thought I would hop on here um, and talk to you about what my brain is thinking right now. Um, so, yeah, as you know, Jason and I have um, discovered a new tool to hold our our liquid assets. Um, this tool creates compound interest, and it is access to these funds. So, we, if we want to go purchase something, um, let's say we found a house that we we want to buy to flip. Um, and create extra income for the year, we can use this tool to borrow money, okay? So let's say we have, a, for example, $50,000 in this tool that we can utilize. We can borrow money, so we're not taking it out, okay? We're not withdrawing it, we're borrowing that money, okay? So we borrow $50,000, and we put that fifty thousand dollars towards this purchase of this this house that needs remodeled and redone. While we borrow this money, it is still gaining compound interest. Okay, so it's uninterrupted compound interest because we have borrowed money from the company that is holding our liquid assets. So when we're ready to put it back in and pay our loan back, our loan, which is on our terms, uh, not a bank's term. We put it back in, it could be one year term length, five year term length, let's say it's a five year term length, okay, on 50,000. So it's $10,000 that we have to pay every year, pay back. Um, plus, we're being a good banker, so we're gonna charge ourselves interest. So we're gonna charge ourselves, let's say, 7% interest on the 50,000. Um, we put that back in. Let's say year two, we don't um, we don't have enough money to pay the $10,000 back. Well, guess what? It's our term, so we're just gonna pay interest only on year two. But year three, four, five, we're able to pay pay it all back plus the interest okay so that's the tool that we are now using and that we are now recommending to use um, for Jason's real estate clients who are interested in investing in real estate properties but need a place to hold their liquid assets to gain compound interest um, so it's pretty exciting stuff one thing to think about um, I know we have a lot of friends who think this way and we, we thought this way for several years, so it's okay. Um, but it's okay to think of different um, things. It's okay to expand your, your mind and utilize different tools as well. Um, one thing that we've done for, for several years is we've stored away cash. Okay, we've stored away an emergency fund. We've stored away a vacation fund. We've stored away, um, uh, we wanna buy a new vehicle fund. Okay, so we have envelopes for each of those funds. And I'm not gonna tell you where those, those envelopes are located, okay? It could be in a coffee can in my backyard. It could be underneath my bed. It could be, I don't know where, but I'm not gonna tell you, okay? You can keep on guessing, but the point is, and I had this conversation with Jason, is, okay, we have this cash. That's cool. But it's cold cash. Like, it's not, it's not doing anything for us. It's just sitting there. It's getting, let's just say, old and murky, and it's just, it's there. It's great. But wouldn't you want that cash working for you? Um, and by working for you, meaning let's put it in a tool that gains interest and makes income for you. Um, and so our tool is compound interest. So instead of having that that cash, okay, that I can go pull out from my secret hiding spot, instead of it just sitting there and not working for me. We are 
putting it into this tool to where it will work for us. Um, and then when we need it, we can with, or excuse me, we can borrow that money to go and purchase whatever we need to purchase um, or to pay off. It could be pay off medical expenses because um, you might have debt that's outrageous and you can't can't afford it and you don't want to pay extra extra interest to to the hospital or to the clinic or whatever so we can pull that fund out with or we can um, borrow that money out of our tool compound interest tool pay off that medical expense pay off that that vehicle expense okay and then we create our own terms to pay ourselves and the tool back. Um, so I just wanna challenge all of you guys to think if you have cash sitting around, whether that is actual dollar bills, if you have cash in your checking account, cash in your savings account, yeah, you're probably getting interest on that, but let's be real. How much interest are you really getting um, off the bank? Uh, your, the tool that I'm going to explain, or that I'm explaining about, um, the, the tool that Jason may have talked to you about, it's going to, to gain you more interest than what the bank and your savings account, checking account will ever gain. So um, think about that. If you have any questions, let us know. If you want to attend a presentation, let us know. I know we're going to try to try to do them more frequently. We've got a few coming up um, throughout Eastern Wyoming, and I know we're going to try to do some some of them on Zoom. So those that are not uh, able to attend, they can att able to attend either the live Zoom or the recorded Zoom. So um, until next time, have a great day. Bye.